Hi guys, I'm back again with another book review. Um, first things first, we have entered jumper weather now, which I'm loving because it's clearly where I thrive. And also we've got to the part of the pandemic where I'm making my own jewellery, <laughs> which I'm having fun with. So yeah, let's get to the review. Now I found this book um, after reading Lost Boy by Christina Henry. See how I linked this video to the last video. <laughs> um, yeah, really love Lost Boy. Um, it got me really into um, Peter Pan um, and just the dark side of that story um, because I love dark stuff. And I actually wrote my own retelling of Peter Pan for uni. It was my major project for creative writing, which is basically like a dissertation. Um, but when I had to write the reflective commentary, which is basically the essay to add to it, to be like, why I wrote this story in the first place, um, I was coming up short because I only had Lost Boy to compare to. <laughs> so I kind of cheated and I'd already written the story, but I was like, I need another book to be like, yeah, this gave me inspiration. Um, and that's how I found Child Peace. Um, and funnily enough, um, when I finished reading this, I was actually like, you know, this fits into my essay perfectly because there was already comparisons between this and the book that I wrote, which to me shows that I did a pretty good job at a retelling, right? If it's like still in the same pool as like other retellings. Um, but enough about my writing, we're here to talk about so I read The Child Thief in, I'd say like January time, and it very quickly became um, one of my favourite books um, for several reasons. Um, first of all, look how beautiful it is. <laughs> um, I got this online, um, so the first time I had it like in my hands was when I owned it. Um, I didn't realise it was going to be so like big, um, but I love it. And um, also, <laughs> I'm so excited. But, um, let's find a page. It comes with illustrations. <laughs> At the beginning of every chapter, there is an illustration, and I get super excited by surprise illustrations. I am a child. Um, and on top of that, okay, let's find it. On top of that, you have these amazing coloured illustrations of the characters. That's Peter. Um, I won't show you too many of the, um, okay, that's the only one I'm showing because I don't want to spoil the story. Um, so already I haven't even read it and I'm like, I love this book. Um, also, he's called Brom, the author, just Brom, like Cher on Moses, um, which I know, flex and it's great. And also check out his author. <laughs> The uh, picture, like, he was like, you know what, I'm gonna look, like, gothic and just amazing, so. <laughs> he saw the opportunity and he took it and bravo to him for doing that. So, again, I haven't even read it yet and I'm already like, this is amazing. Um, I didn't, I think I, I did read the blurb, but when you read the book and then you read the blurb, again, the blurb doesn't give away like hardly any of the story, which is great, like it's like what a blurb is supposed to be. Do you know like old trailers when like it didn't give away the entire story? Um, that's like this, it's gone back to its like how it's supposed to be, you're like okay so um, it's about Peter Pan, that's all you, that's all you know. Um, it also says that it is fantasy horror uh, and I'm a big wimp, I like dark stuff but I don't like horror, it's weird. Um, so, um, I was a bit sceptical, but basically the horror elements is that it's like, if it was a film it'd be R-rated because of the gore and the death, um, that's about it. And if you're fine with children being killed, as I am, <laughs> you'll love this book. Um, so yeah, I can't, mm, do I want to tell the story? No I don't. Um, basically, it's a dark retelling of Peter Pan, it um it takes place both in our world and in 
um, Peter Pan's world, which is Avalon. Um, another really cool thing is you get Peter's backstory. By the way, he's not actually called Peter Pan in this book. He's just called Peter, but you like, it's pretty obvious that he's Peter Pan. Um, he, you get his whole backstory, which is not what I expected because I think Peter Pan is this character that is kind of like, he's an enigma, no one really knows where he came from, and you said, why is he a boy all the time? That's weird. Um, but you get his backstory, and it's actually a really cool backstory. Um, wasn't expecting it, but it was great. Um, the, he's not, he's one of the um, kind of points of view, it's third person, but it, it has different points of view, um, which I really like because that's what I like doing in um, my stories. Um, so you have Peter's side and then you also have um, other characters' sides. One of the main points of view is Nick. He is a teen from our world. He gets taken by Peter at the very beginning and taken to Avalon and it's kind of the story mainly follows him and his kind of journey into this new world but also um, you get other characters' points of view who live in this world and what's going on and why Peter is taking all these kids. Um, and I don't really want to go into the story because as I said when I read it I didn't actually know what it was about and it made it like ten times better because it was just all these layers were unfolding and I was like where the hell is this going? <laughs> Um, but all in all, if you like dark retellings, if you like Peter Pan, even if you don't like Peter Pan, like, it's just, it's a, just a good dark fantasy story. Um, it's not too similar to Peter Pan for you to be like, this is obviously the same story, like, it's not. Um, there is a lot, the fantasy element is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. The kind of fantasy element I thought was just like, a kid can fly, ooh. But no, it's like, it is definitely more fantasy than like, reality. Um, but all in all, <laughs> amazing book. Um, five stars for everything, for the story, for the narration, for the narration, for the illustration. Um, it's great. <laughs> Read it. <laughs>